Oh, for God's sake, what was that? Wherever you are, whatever you've done, don't think I won't find you. We're so glad Francis decided to come down for a visit. It's been so long since we've seen him. And you taking along as an added bonus. Well, making you happy makes me happy. You know, I don't think that nursery would ever get done without Francis's help. Hal has this thing about heights. I can't... <gasps> okay, everybody. We just got back from the doctor, and everything's fine, but... Baby's a little bit bigger than expected. So, instead of having the baby in two weeks, like we thought, we're going to induce labor on Thursday. Thursday? This Thursday? You can't do that. Oh, what difference does it make? It's just six days sooner that our lives are over. Hell. And our new, more fulfilling lives begin. This stinks. I know this is being sprung on you very suddenly, and you all have a right to be a little upset. A little? Don't push it. Hell, you know what? I've got an idea. Why don't you take the boys out tomorrow and do something fun? I could use the time alone anyway to straighten up the house before the baby comes. I can help you clean. Well, that'll take a little longer, but I guess I could use the company. Hey, there's a car show at the convention center. Yeah, let's spend the whole day looking at cool things that we'll never get to own. Oh, come on, Malcolm. If we only looked at stuff we could afford, all we'd ever see is crap. Don't be a party pooper. It'll be great. I know it's your fifth child, but still, you must be a little excited. Well, sure. Every child's exciting. Not that you want to rush into something like that. Oh. Wow. You okay? Baby just started kicking like crazy. It's almost like something was upsetting. <laughs> okay, go ahead. The blessed state of matrimony is a sacred place. Oh, God! Maybe we should get you to the hospital. No! I will not have our baby born out of wedlock! I, I don't understand why all of a sudden you're so hung up on this. Up until last week, a marriage certificate was just a piece of paper. Ugh. I changed my mind. And it made me the happiest man in the world. 